Today I'm going to be talking about getting your airsoft gear and more importantly your guns to game days using public transport. It's coming up. Hey guys, Mikey from TimberSoft.com. Thanks for watching. Uh, firstly, I apologize for uh, my voice. I've just been coming for a bit of man flu. Uh, but today I'm talking about using public transport to get your airsoft gear and guns to um, game days and what's the best practices, you know, the legalities of using uh, public transport. It's a question that pops up quite often on Facebook groups and uh, the internet, uh, and I get emails. Uh, on temporarysoft.com, in particular since doing a review of this bag, people are asking if it's a, it's a good enough bag to use for public transport. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't seen the review of this bag, I'll put a little link up in the top right hand corner of the screen. Um, but yeah, this bag is great, great bag. Um, it's, it's absolutely fine to use on public transport. I personally wouldn't use a bag like this on public transport though. Um, something I'll talk about in a minute, uh, the reasons why. But uh, first, I'll talk about the legalities. Uh, now, this is aimed primarily at guys in the UK, um, but obviously there are some common sense issues that apply to this video uh, that will apply elsewhere, no matter where you are in the UK. In the UK, it's an offence to carry um, an imitation firearm or airsoft gun in public without reasonable excuse. Uh, in our uh, case, reasonable excuse would be traveling to or from an airsoft game or a shop for repairs, or buying or selling a gun or to another private place such as a friend's house etc etc to plink in a gun you know shoot targets in a gun or whatever as long as you're traveling um, to a specific location with the intention of carrying out legal activities uh, and you're staying within the law you will have no problems there are however some guidelines that you should follow uh, firstly um, and most importantly is to keep your airsoft guns out of sight and i cannot stress this enough uh, in the current climate in terms of terrorism and extremism and particularly in the uk where firearms are heavily restricted <coughs> um, having your guns out in a public area or public transport is only going to cause problems for yourself and uh, panic um, you know do not when you leave your house do not get your guns out of the uh, out of the case of the bag i cannot stress that enough uh, best case scenario if you do is no one will notice that you've been an idiot. Worst case scenario is you can end up getting shot and then mummy and daddy have got to deal with the fact that they raise an idiot for a kid for the rest of their lives. Obviously you won't be around um, anymore unless you're lucky enough to be revived. But yeah, do not get your guns out in public. It's just a stupid idea. Secondly is uh, taking your bag, um, you know, uh, discretion basically. And that's why I wouldn't use this bag. Uh, this bag is black, it looks like a tack bag. Uh, it's got a tactical jack on there. It looks like the sort of bag that military or police forces would use to take their tack gear in. Um, I would use a holdall, just get rid of that, such as this one here. It's a green bag, doesn't look anything special paid about 15 quid for it in 2003 i think i bought it for my first deployment to iraq um it's done well and uh it's held up well say 15 quid and i can get everything i need in here for a game day gun spare gun magazines ammo grenades comms um trousers top jacket uh spare bag uh rucksack etc i can't get a helmet in this bag there just isn't the space but if i was going to take my helmet I'd have it in another rex rucksack on my back with uh, some other bits and bobs. But I can get all my other gear in here and it's nice and discreet. doesn't look like a tack bag. Thirdly, get yourself a padlock, a little lock like this, just to restrict access to your guns. It's not for um, preventing theft uh, per se, uh, because you shouldn't be leaving your bag unattached at all. But it's just there, if you do get stopped by the police, it's going to reassure them you know, that you're, you don't want to be get, able to get into this bag in a hurry. Um, if you do get stopped by the police what's going to trip you up is if you show any form of intent to do anything other than go to an airsoft game or a shop with your gear even joking about having these guns for protection which is a dumb idea um, in itself but even making that joke in the UK will likely end up with you being arrested for possession of an offensive weapon Having the lock on there just reinforces that you don't want to get to them in a hurry. Another thing you can do is break your guns down. If you've got an M4, for example, I haven't actually completely broken it down, but breaks into two pieces. Take this pin out here, you're in two pieces. And again, that just reinforces the fact that 
you've got no intention whatsoever of using this stuff anywhere else other than the place you're going. Um, it just helps you in the long run. Fourth is I would advise against traveling any form of tactical gear. Uh, there's no need for it really uh, in the UK uh, or in any country if you're out in public. And um, with the current climate, as I said earlier, of terrorism and extremism, anyone appearing to be from the military carries a level, a certain level of risk to them. Uh, you need to minimize that risk to yourself. The last thing you want to do is get a bash in from someone because they think you're a soldier and they've got a gripe against soldiers. Personally, I've been uh, spat at, called a baby killer, loads of shitty things uh, just for wearing a uniform out in public. Um, you know, worse than that, you've got the guys that will use violence and take it a step further. Um, you know, you don't want to be that guy who becomes the first civilian uh, killed or hurt severely by, uh, you know, an extremist because they thought you were a soldier. Be smart, don't wear your um, tack gear, wear civvy clothing, get changed when you get to your game site. Um, you know, there's no need to wear that stuff on, on uh, public transport. Finally, if you do get stopped by the police, just be courteous and polite to them. Um, if they're being a ball bag to you, just take it on the chin. Uh, don't be a ball bag back because it's only going to result in them getting annoyed with you and they just make your day worse. Um, <clears throat> bear in mind as well that majority of police officers don't have any experience with firearms. Uh, they might be quite nervous seeing your guns. Um, good example was last year my car was searched by the police. And I informed them I had imitation firearms in the boot. They were quite surprised at the realism of them and uh, they were actually quite nervous to even touch them. Uh, long story short, firearms unit turned up and was able to confirm the RAS off guns. Um, but that wasn't uh, until after they'd sent a forensic unit to confiscate the guns. Throughout the whole process, I was being asked silly questions um, and obviously questions that they just didn't really know about. They were asking me if I had a license for my airsoft guns, etc., etc. Because I remained calm and polite, when they sent the uh, forensic team to confiscate my guns, I was able to, to uh, sort of plead with them. You know, I was playing the game the following day, so I was able to plead with them to not take them and request a, a firearms unit. A firearms unit eventually came out, clarified um, that they were, in fact, airsoft guns and, and toys. Um, had I been a dick and started throwing my teddies out of the pram, they would have more than likely not bothered to uh, try and help me out there. Uh, so, you know, be polite and calm, even if they're winding you up. Just, you know, take it on the chin and, um, you know, just just play, play the game, you know, play by their rules. And that's it, that's my brief guide to using public transport. Um, the main thing you should take away from this is that, yes, it is legal, but you must use common sense and ensure that your uh, guns are concealed and safe. Remember, as airsofters, uh, we're ambassadors for the sport. Uh, it is us as individuals that represent the sport and we must be responsible in our actions. Uh, you know, don't be that guy that ruins it for everybody else by cutting corners and uh, trying to circumvent the law. Uh, you know, just don't be dumb. Let me know what your thoughts uh, in the comments below and let me know if you use public transport to uh, get to and from game days. Uh, have you ever, ever had any dramas with the public or police or authorities on public transport? You know, what bag do you use? Do you use a tack bag? Do you use a more, more of a um, discreet bag like this? And do you wear your gear or, or, or do you wear civvies like I suggested earlier? Um, and if you'd like a video on anything in particular, just let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll get that fired up. If it's your first time to my channel, um, thanks for watching firstly, and uh, I'd really love it if you could subscribe. I do appreciate every single one of you guys that hits that subscribe button. It lets me know that I'm, uh, you know, I'm on the right track in terms of content that I'm putting out there, so um, please do hit the subscribe button below. And uh, that's it. That's it from me. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.